Do you think I should sell it? No, we are not selling it. I like that truck. That is an amazing truck. It's gonna be my truck someday. We're not selling it. You belong in our home. No matter what you've gone through, you're not alone. I am here to show you love. and hit that notification bell so you never have to miss any of our episodes. So many of us have had something we love so much. We work so hard to get it and then we get it. And then you're like, a few years later, you're like, wait a minute, was this the right decision? Well, that's me. You guys, you know, I flip houses and I do real estate. So I bought a truck because I needed something to help me, you know, haul the things from one place to the other from Law's Home Depot to my project. And it worked really well for five years until I got kids. And then my kids turned into teenagers. And then I was like, wait a minute, we can't fit in this truck. I love it. I don't want to let it go. So I kept holding on it. And then we got dogs. Hmm. And then we could not take our dogs because we could not fit in my truck. Well, my truck can only sit five. And with teenagers with long legs, I mean, no space. So finally I thought, you know what? I love my truck so much, but at the same time, I want to expand my, I want to expand my family so I can have more kids, so I can help more kids. But also knowing that that thing, the one thing I love so much, I mean, it's my truck. I love it. Trust me. Whew. Thinking about letting go has been really difficult. I do not want to let it go. But finally I thought, well, if I want to take my kids to school, drop them one place to the other, and knowing that I would like to have more than five kids, I knew it wasn't a family truck. So <sighs> it's that time that I finally thought through and I said, I gotta let it go. I gotta let it go my one truck that I've had for five years that I love. And me as a short guy, you know, I like to feel tall. And this truck has been making me feel tall while I'm driving. Yeah, you heard me. My mom says, Peter, you have small man syndrome. Hmm, what does that mean? Hmm? Well, my truck was for hauling things. That's what I told my mom, hauling things. Because I do real estate and I don't want to pay fees, money to carry my stuff. So I thought I can do it myself. And also I love doing, you know, landscaping. You know, those plants, grass, name it all. My truck did it and it served me well. But my kids, man, every time they get in that car, they fight. Don't step on me. You're too close to me. Yada, yada, yada. Name it. You know? So finally, I thought, hmm. Well, it came to one of my kids had a birthday. And then we had to another, another kid come with us. But we didn't have space for them. I was like, hmm. Maybe I need to think bigger. Maybe I need a car that can take more than eight kids. At least more than five kids for sure. So I'm getting rid of my truck and I'm, mm, I don't want to let it go. Trust me, I do not want to let it go. My truck, my truck. But then I got love kids. I love kids. So I got to let it go. It's going to be a hard one, but yes. So you had my story. I'm sure in your family, in your house, there's something you bought and you thought, I'm going to hold this for a long time for the rest of my life. Oh, for more than 10 years. And then a few years later, or a few years into it, you're like, hmm, I love this thing. But at the place where I am right now, that thing is not really helpful or is not doing what I thought it would do. That's me. Whew. Okay. I'm thinking. I'm thinking out loud. It's gonna go. It's gonna go. But, uh, whew. okay. Off to the dealership and see how it happens. But I might bring it back and think about it another week maybe another month we'll see so um what do you like about a truck um, what i like about the truck is that it's really big and spacious and that even if like we ever go on road trips and i have to sit in the back i have plenty of leg room in the truck and overall i just like the truck do you see me in a van like fitting in a van no 
No. Yep, that's what I'm thinking too. I'm not sure I'm ready for the van. I mean, I am not ready at all. Do you think I should sell it? No, we are not selling it. I like that truck. That is an amazing truck. It's gonna be my truck someday. We're not selling it. Well, but only holds five people. Uh, and you know me, I wanna have so many kids. I wanna help so many kids. So I might think about selling it. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking about letting go so I can get a bigger car. I'm not gonna like it. For the kids, just for the kids, that's all. Okay, all right. Well, we'll see what happens. What do you think? Selling my favorite truck. Well, well, it has to go. It has to go. So guys, what's your favorite car? Um, the white truck. The white truck? What do you love about it? Um, that we can go in the truck and it has a little ball where you can pull in the truck goes down and like every single time where we had races with our scooters we get it to stand on the back yes we can yes we, we can to watch people people ride yes their scooters and anthony drank his fast scooter on the road yes the i love that truck can. too if we had more kids, can we all fit in that truck? No. Yeah. Why? So How many people can sit in it? Five. Oh, you know, only five. So two people sit in front. Uh -huh. And then how many people sit in the back? Three. 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 So in total, how many? Three. Three. No. The uh, people in front five. and the people in the back. Five. 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 But, yeah. Right. But if we want to take, but if we want to take more kids, Remember the kids that came to come to visitors? Yeah. Do you think we can fit in? Uh, uh, no. no, I think we need a because bigger we, car, right? Yeah, we need like, and I wish we could have a green car. Yeah. A green car? No, a green truck. Green truck. Green truck. A dream car. A dream car? No, a dream car. A dream car. Oh, tell yeah, me about that it. Can reach to the clouds. Yes, me and too. The, and also space. Yes. Where you can fly in the room better in space. Ooh, nice. And, like, and it wouldn't wobble, but it's giant. But then people and also, saying, you could, like, and then a hundred of people could fit, or a thousand million. Yes, people, one. yes, but I think I would like one that can fit maybe eight or ten. Do you, do you know that I truck? Want one that yeah. can fit a million. Yeah, um, we have a the million of kids. Right? No, um, no. Do you know? The, do you know the one that the guys use for? Are the guys that drive the the uh, Amazon truck, the yeah. ones that drop the stuff? You know those vans? Yeah. The Mercedes van that can yeah. sit like mm -hmm. 10 or 12? Yeah. That's the one I want. So Ooh, we can go on the me trip. Too. So we can go on the trip too. When I get 16, I got to get a car. What? A question you have too. to work for it though. You have to go to I work like everyone question. else, like no, me. You're gonna get I can get you one? Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You should get a van, right? Yeah! No, I don't want to be a van. I'm not ready to be a van man. I be... Vans? No, no, I no, no. Secret. No, no. Peter. No. Yes? I, I, I love that. I, that, um, that say we drove to the beach, I want, mm. I want to get it. You want to get a what, van? No, 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 just thing. Yeah, let's not touch our nose, sir. Yeah, I'm just saying, That's where inappropriate. We, where we drive to the beach. Oh, I see. Yes, it's called a cart. A cart. Yeah, a want... golf cart. That's why we call them. Can we get it's one of them? that kind of car? It's not a car, but maybe we can start with that. We yeah, can teach you how to drive it. A golf cart car. A golf cart. Yeah. Okay. Want... Oh, All right. Though. Can I go have something to drink? Is that possible? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we've been looking for a car, but also I knew I have to let it go. So today is the day that I let go of my truck. So I'm not sure if I'm ready to part with it. Emotionally, I think I'm not ready. I'm a little crying deep inside. You know, I've had this truck for five years and it's all the way from Oklahoma to here. It's been a wonderful truck that has helped me through every name at all, you know? So it's more than uh, 20 houses when I had it and it did all the work. So to let it go is not easy. So right now I'm at a car dealership and they're offering me money. And uh, I am kind of in and out like, should I let it go? Should I, should I let it go? Should I maybe? 
I'm hoping they again say, oh, can we give you this much? And I'll be like, I am driving home right now back with my truck. So I've had it for a while and I love it. You know, it's, it's helped me. As you can see, we've used it quite often. It's helped me go places. It's helped me be the best foster parent I can be. All my kids, yes. They fought, they have left their garbage. They have left anything you could think of in this truck. So, I think today's the last day I get to have it. And uh, I'm not ready to part with it, seriously. I know, it's just a car. But I'm not ready to part with my truck. I even put, look, I put tires, you know, see? I put false tires so I can go off-roading. But now, it's worked for us for so many years. It's carried my kids, we've been places. So I love it, but I have to let it go. I have to let it go. So guys, this is my Tundra. I love it. It's tough. It drinks fuel, but it's been really helpful for us. It's done everything for us that we wanted. You know, I've owned it for five years and it's something I've loved so much. But apparently, our family is growing, so we can't fit in. We can't fit in at all. So, this is our truck. You know, my kids would sit here. They would sit right here and yell and cry sometimes, you know? But see all the mess, see all the dirt, see? For Tundras, uh, it can only sit five, you know? Uh, with dogs, and we are wanting to expand our family, Yes, this is not big enough for us, but it's been good for my kids. It's really been good for my kids. We've enjoyed it. We've kept it really good, you know, really well, as you can tell. And um, yeah, so today it's going and uh, I'm not sure I'm ready to let it go. Let's see. What else? Yes, I need my garage. I need my mail. I need my water. So here's my truck. So if you wanted to buy it, a little, it's a little too late. I think they're taking it right now. It's got new owners apparently. Let's see. As I said, we, were, we are planning on ex expanding our family. And this is, not, this is not the car that can take us all through. So we're looking forward to having a new car, God willing. But sad to let it go. Really sad. So, this is my baby. This is my baby saying goodbye. I've not owned that many cars, but I've owned few. And I've owned few that I really, really love. And this is one of them, you know? I bought it and I saved money to buy this truck and helped me do construction, you know, do a little off-roading. So today I'm saying goodbye to my truck. I'm selling it. Yes, I'm selling my truck. Reasons, because we are trying to expand our family and we cannot fit in our truck. Or we can't all fit in truck. You know, four kids, two dogs, for a five-seater, no big enough. So we've been praying and looking for one. But today I have to let it go truly have to let it go in tears but it's a car replaceable right yes but when you own something for that long to let it go hmm something you love it's not like I was ready oh I was tired of it oh I was you know no I loved my truck it was my second home when kids get rowdy this is a place I came to hide for a little while or if my kids had a few you know things that they wanted to think about, talk about, we'll drive around. This was the car. I went to pick up my kids first time. This is a truck. I mean, the first time I met my kids, this is the place we met. So to me, yes, it is just a car. Yes, it is just a truck, but it's not a truck. It was my second home where I hang out. When my kids would hear the voice or the sound of it, they'd be like, that is home. Wow. Now I have to let it go. So, as I said, we love some things, but we gotta let them go. <laughs> and this is going away for a good reason, but I'll be crying for a few hours or days thinking about my truck. 
So anyway, just wanted to share with you that I'm parting away with my favorite track. For good reason though, we are expanding our family and we need a bigger car. So I found my dream car. This is my dream car. It sits eight. Yes, you heard me guys, it sits eight. So this would be perfect for my family. You know, I'm just dreaming. I'm just saying, this is what we need for our extended family. It is perfect. I mean, family car, I would say. This will be my minivan. Mom van, dad van. This will be a dad van, I am sure. And it's uh, not cheap, I might say. But this thing is all I can dream to have. Yep, seats eight. And now for eight kids, let's say seven kids, including me. So as you can tell, I already have my tag. So, yeah, this is my truck. Does it have to stay or can come with me? Hmm. Apparently Uber is here. I already have a check, so I can't really go back, but goodbye my Toyota. Goodbye my Toyota Tundra. I'm giving away my truck, so I'm crying about it. <laughs> they have taken the tag or the license already. As you can see, I got it already. So, only tears I can say. So, yep. Where's my ride? Where's my Uber? Where's my Lyft? Where are you? Sad, but I have to let it go. I don't want to leave. It's like I'm leaving my own baby here. Wow, my truck. It really helped me as a family. It really did so much for me. For my kids, we traveled, we cried in it. You know, they call it that semi truck because it's sometimes they couldn't get in. Yes, a little bit too tall, but love it. Again, when you want to expand family, you sacrifice. I'm sacrificing my truck. For now, I'm sacrificing my truck, my, f yes, my Tundra for my kids. What we do for our kids, right? I hope one day they will say, Dad, that was nice of you. That you bought a car that we can all fit in and bring in more kids, maybe. I don't know, maybe. For now, it's gotta go. So I'm walking away. I don't wanna look back. I'm walking away. I don't want to look back. I'm walking away. This is my dad's book. I just read it. It's a great book. It's about his childhood and why he chose to become a foster parent. And this book can help him speak out for more kids and help us foster them. And you could really help us out a lot by pre-ordering this book. No.